second time in about 20 years, the Cook Convention Center in downtown Memphis is getting a facelift. Only this time, it's going to be a $200 million facelift, and that's thanks to hotel and sales taxes. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. The facility is considered too small now and just out of date for modern conventions. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews is local in Memphis. They call the Cook Convention Center a work in progress. They've made some progress, but they've got an awful lot more work to do. This might not look like a big deal. Maybe it's not. After all, most Memphians have never and will never set foot in the convention center, even though it sits smack on Main Street right in the middle of the city as it has for the last 40 years. This building will be kind of opening in phases as we complete these improvements of this major transformation of this facility. Convention centers aren't for local people. They're for out-of-towners to attract them to Memphis and urge them not to forget their wallets. That's why fixing this place up is a big deal. That's why this new elevated connector is a big deal. That's remarkable how fast that's come down and how fast the steel's gone back up. And it's the connector to, the, to our primary hotel, and it's really important to us to, uh, to have that connection. The center was renovated back at the turn of the 21st century, although the biggest part of that renovation was tearing down the old Ellis Auditorium and building the Performing Arts Center. It was a project that was over budget, went far too long, and even too deep. Construction workers unearthed the human remains from an old cemetery that nobody knew was there. No real surprises this time. This built, building was built in 1970, so we anticipated, you know, uh, and put built into the plans, finding you know a wall where, where it wasn't supposed to be. But you know, other than that, you know, things are going as planned. Those plans include floor-to-ceiling windows, more natural light, bringing a little charm to a building that sort of looks like a maximum security prison. You should be able to get your first glance at this newly revived building by the end of the year. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.